and collectibles show. We are running a half hour behind schedule. Um, we were supposed to leave at 7.30. It is now 8 and we're getting gas at the gas station. Um, I woke up 15 minutes later than I intended to, but I thought it would be enough time for me to get ready, but um, I was ready by like 7.40. Um, however, um, Alex wasn't feeling well this morning. He has a bad headache um, and he's feeling nauseous. So um, it, he got up like close to 7.30 and it took him a while to get ready. So now we're running late. Um, and it's starting to snow a bit, but I think the roads should be okay. Hopefully the highways will be clear and we'll still be able to get there by at least 9.30. And I'm going to have to rush, rush, rush to set up. I know that the last time we had a half hour to set up and we were ready um, in time with some time to spare. So I'm hoping that can happen again today. Um, didn't have time to put on makeup um, like I usually do for the shows, but I did put on some cover stick to help cover up some of my blemishes. Um, and I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see them, these little monkey earrings. And he's holding a guitar. So I figure, you know, Crystal's little monkeys. <laughs> so anyways, I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. Alrighty, so we made it late because we got lost. <laughs> I had Market Street and it was supposed to be Market Street South. So we went on a wild goose chase trying to find the place. There's Alex. Say hello. <laughs> He's reading, as you can see. So yeah, we got lost, and then when we finally got here, I was taking the stuff out, I fell in the parking lot. There's Joshua, Emily, and Avery. Um, samples of my past work. Oops. My American girl displaying the bags. Onesies I made, two free clothes I made, bibs I made, baby clothes, and the activity bags. And Amy's table is over there. So anyways, we're here. And it's mostly men and like collectible cards and coins and stuff so kind of the wrong audience for us I think but anyways this is it we're here I skinned my knee in the parking lot because I didn't see a curb and I tripped on it and went flying and my pants are filthy dirty now so <laughs> What a crappy start to a day. Late and then a big fall. <laughs> so I'll probably have a huge bruise on my leg. What? <laughs> Brantford. What's that? Telephone City. Bye bye, Brantford. We don't like it. <laughs> that show was a bust. Oh, man, pretty much. Uh, That's going to be on YouTube.
YouTube, you know. <laughs> I'll make sure it's on YouTube. Uh, this might have to be part of What? Say something to make you edit well to make you not put it up on YouTube, but then I remember that you can just edit it out. Yes, I can. <clears throat> What'd you think of that Brantford toy and collectible show, dear? Oh, I got some reading done. What? I got some reading done. You got some reading done? <laughs> They had Justin Bieber dolls that sang. So we're home. <laughs> I've got my pajamas on. We got home at about, we left there at 2.30 because we started to pack up a bit early and because um, there wasn't really anything going on. Um, it was mostly men and it was mostly like coins and trading cards um, they had like some Barbies and some coca-cola stuff and uh, they had um, they had some toys but it wasn't like like I don't know it was like collectible toys or I guess you could say and one table had Justin Bieber dolls um, and uh, they were like singing Justin Bieber dolls I'm so happy no one activated those because I just can't stand Justin Bieber um, but it was still a fun day I was I didn't do much of a vlog because there wasn't really much to vlog about really <laughs> But, um, I mean, it was, it was still fun seeing Amy, of course, and I got to finally meet her granddaughter, Haley. She's so cute. And, um, there was two ladies that took my card, and they actually even wanted my phone number. So I wrote that on the back of my card. Like I generally don't, I don't have my phone number on any of my brochures or anything, but if they ask for it because they don't have internet access or what have you, then I will give it to them. So there was two women that did that. One lady took a brochure to show to some people at her work at the hospital. And, um, but yeah, so I mean, Luckily, travel time was good because the traffic was good and there was no snow. Um, and so we left at 2.30, got home at 4. And, uh, yeah, now I'm in a lot of pain because um, I don't know how well you could hear me when I was making some videos at the show. Because um, I didn't want to talk too loudly and... I didn't want people looking at me like, what is she doing? Um, but I, first off, we got lost <laughs> um, on our way. We, we were doing fine. We got to Brantford just fine. And then I made a, I, I don't know if it was me that made a mistake or the website made a mistake or something. Um, but I put in 69 Market Street on Google Maps and it was supposed to be 69 Market Street South. So we ended up at a different place. It was close to where we needed to be, but it was somewhere else. And so <laughs> we would have been there at 930 with plenty of time to set up and be ready to go at 10 when it opened. But I didn't get there till like 5 after 10. So then we get out of the car and I just wanted to get in there and get everything set up. So I grabbed a bin, Alex grabbed a bin, and I started to head toward the front entrance. And there was a low, like a very low curb. Um, 
that I did not see because there was snow on it. <laughs> and so I tripped on it. I went flying forward and fell right on my front and skidded on wet snow, muddy snow. Got my brand new winter coat all dirty, my pants all dirty, um, my purse all dirty. <laughs> and, um, and then within like a short period of time, my knee swelled up with like a big bump on it, like a goose egg bump. And, um, there's a scrape and I know there's going to be a bruise because I can feel it and it's not just on my knee but it's like on the side of the leg and um, now the bump seems to have gone down a little bit it doesn't seem to be as big now there it is in all its glory my battle wound of the day so now now I've got it's hard to see but this is an old bruise from a while ago that I don't know where I got that one from. Now I've got this lovely scrape and I can see bruising coming up here and it hurts like right in here. So, and this is where the bump is too. Ouch. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't feel so good when I'm trying to walk now. Like it really feels bruised up. Um, <sighs> it was an experience. Needless to say, I'm just gonna relax now, watch some TV, I washed my coat, it's nice and clean. <laughs> so, um, I finally, oh, I finally went out and bought a pill organizer, and it's like a little drawer kind of system. And so there's a drawer for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then in each one, there's for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and oh, supper and bedtime. So now I've got my medications all organized day to day. And now I won't forget anything because I'll see what I've taken and what I haven't. So that's that's good. And um, I just found that at the dollar store. So I like that. Um, and just pretty much, I'm going to try to take it easy this week and just relax. Maybe watch some Christmas movies that I watch every year. And... Um, I don't know, maybe start, maybe do the honeymoon videos, edit the honeymoon videos from Paris. Um, but other than that, I think I'm just going to rest this week and take it easy because Christmas is going to be busy, busy. We've got on Christmas Eve, we're going to Alex's mom's. Christmas Day, we're going to Alex's dad's. And the 26th Boxing Day, we're going to my uncle's. And then either the 27th or the 28th, I have to get together with my dad. So it's just going to be nonstop for a few days. So I got to save up my spoons. <laughs> and I had this today. Crush strawberry. Alex and his friends go to a special store that carries like unique sodas or pop and this time they got crushed strawberry it was pretty good alrighty well have a good night everyone see you in the next video